I wanted to design some jewelry with these new gemstones. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. I th I'm thinking I want to work with these matte Australian chrysoprase lemon beads, but I also wanted to kind of show maybe uh, some of these as well. And I'm thinking these ruby beads might work really well with the uh, lemon beads. So I'm going to pull some of those too. And I've got another tray with uh, some beautiful items to work with. And everything I have here today, I have links for in the video description. Let's, let's design some jewelry with these new Dakota Stones colors. So I did want to show uh, the sodalite, how good it would look with uh, some copper. And this is a great design from our design studio uh, for an idea on what you can use sodalite with. This has some smaller sodalite beads in it, but you can use it with that beautiful gold stone. There's some um, Swarovski pearls in here, I think, and some mother of pearl beads. Just really pretty. Um, so that's a good sodalite color combo. This is uh, done with a simple crochet chain stitch and then just finished with a cute little button. And we do have some really great tear cast copper pieces that I think would go good with this orange sodalite. So maybe we'll design with that. But first I want to make something with these pretty Australian chrysoprase lemon. Um, so I pulled some beads that I thought would match. We've got some great check glass beads. This is, I think this is butter jade that I think matches perfectly. And then we've got some fun um, tiara cast pieces that I think uh, are just summery and cute and match the feel of these uh, gemstone beads. I really like the Monstera leaf button with this color because I think this is kind of a very fresh kind of plant color. Um, we've got some succulent charms. Luna Moth, this is a great Luna Moth color. I think that's a perfect match for a color like that. Um, I definitely think like yellows and pinks are a good match for this uh, gemstone color. And then I've got some Jonquil Preciosa uh, beads that are just beautiful. And I think those complement the gemstones really nicely. And of course, some Raven's Journey check glass, cute little bee beads, again, nice and fresh green for summer. And then I thought maybe some of these little bead mixes would be fun to work in. Uh, this is a bead recipe box. Uh, After dinner mint is the theme and you've got some really sweet uh, pastel colors. We've got some purples, pinks, uh, even some greens and yellows in there. I really like this color down here. And then I thought maybe even some of the beads from this uh, Jesse James bead mix would work. Um, there's some fun ones in here. I think these tassels especially would be fun to work in. So let's get started. Oh my gosh, there's so many good options here. I'm not quite sure where I should start. And I've got an empty tray here so we can kind of pull out what we want to work with. So I'm thinking these are really cool. Yeah, I love that Luna Moth too, Lynn. So pretty. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do the Luna Moth with, um, with one of these like dangling below and then some of these worked in. Those are really fun. Oh, I just love it. Maybe we can add some. That'd be kind of cool. Or it could be at the end of the dangle. That might be better. Uh, we'll work these in for sure because these work really well. We could even do some tassels at the bottom of this. Oh, but it's gold. Well, that's okay. It, that will be kind of hidden anyway. It's kind of fun. Oh, there's some really good beads in here. Let's just dump this out and see what we got. <laughs> here, I'm just going to put all this stuff over here. There we go. Move that one out of the way. Let's see. 
these beads are really cool. I think those are kind of fun and earthy. You could even do like a whole bunch of tassels. <laughs> I love tassels. And let's open this one. Oh, this one's taped. I should have opened this one ahead of time. Let's see if I can use my cutters to kind of break that tape seal. Yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty. Uh, these are kind of fun. Ooh, that's really fun. Yeah, I love the after dinner mint mix. Uh, so, so cute. Yeah, I cannot stop using this Luna Moth. I've made earrings with this guy. Um, I want to make more earrings with it because I think it's just, it's perfect for earrings. And you can, there's so many um, little places to add uh like little drops or links or make multi-strand designs. And you can also punch holes in these. So I did that for a pair of earrings I made and added lots of dangles. Okay, let's see. So I'm thinking I wanna do one of these butter jasper beads as a drop because they, those are really fun. But which one should I do? Because they're all so different. I kind of like this one here. That one's kind of fun. Or that one. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's put it up here so you guys can see better. That one or that one. They're both really cool. I think I'll go with this one. And then have like this dangling below maybe or is that too much i really like the monstera leaf maybe we'll make a monstera leaf bracelet to match <laughs> or do we go with this because we've got like more greenish colors happening yeah i think i might change to that one because it's more greenish so pretty okay let's cut these strands and start start mixing beads. I like to like cut all my strands and kind of mix the beads around and see, see what feels good. Oh, also I really like these TerraCast pieces. TerraCast makes some really wonderful, uh, pendants, beads, findings, bead caps, spacers, um, that work really well with the Dakota stones, gemstones. So, um, I've got a link to the TerraCast pieces that I'm featuring here, but check out all of our TerraCast pieces, and they come in all kinds of beautiful uh, finishes to copper, gold, silver, and brass oxide. They even have black finish, which is really nice um, if you're wanting like a more gunmetal look. Ooh, I love these colors all together. And I'm thinking we should add some of these in and add some of these in. Yes, I love these colors. These colors are really like trendy right now and I think they're good summer colors. So we will have fun with them. We will have fun playing with these colors. Yes, I love all things TerraCast too, Dale. Uh, just really high quality pieces like this beautiful Luna Moth that we're gonna use today. All right, so this is a good, oh man, this is a good mix going on here today. Ooh, I just, look at that. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Okay, let's get started with that. So we wanna make this drop now, do we want drops coming off the sides here too, or do we want that to be our necklace part? That is the question. Let's get some, I've got some findings here. Here's an eye pin. Let's see. Uh, 
Now I'm going to make a wrapped loop at the top of this. Do we want to add anything else? Like maybe, mm, yeah, let's set a bead down there for some contrast. And maybe a bead up here. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, let's do it. These would make cute earrings as well. Ooh, I might need to make some earrings. Okay. We might just have to do a little quick detour here for some matching earrings. Or maybe we'll wait until after. I'm getting I'm getting overwhelmed with creativity. <laughs> so fun. So we'll make a wrapped loop here. I'm loving that. Maybe for the earrings, we'll use gold to match the tassels. The earrings can be something different. But I like that idea. I love those little tassels. It is a delicious mix. I agree, Lynn. It's very delicious. I love just like pulling beads together, seeing what works, making a nice, delicious little pile. And then designing something fun. Okay, that's a cute, that's a cute little dangle to add there. Oh, I love that. Love, love, love. Okay, and do we want to add a tassel? Or maybe we could add like this. I don't know. It's kind of cool, but it, it's a little darker than the rest of the, uh, ooh, that might be a good option with these colors that we've got here. That's fun. Or do we go with the tassel? Then if I use the tassel here, I've only got two of those tassels. I can't make the earrings and I really want to make the earrings. So maybe I go with that bad boy. Yeah, I love the recipe bead boxes too. I think they're really fun. Um, good start for your creativity, especially if you struggle with choosing colors. These are a good place to start because they have really nice colors um, already matched. So I love that, uh, those little bead recipe boxes. And I think their names are all cute. They, they're called bead recipe boxes and they all have like food themed names. So they, they get you inspired and they also get you a little hungry too. <laughs> Inspires you to snack while you bead. Okay, so we're going to put this guy on a head pin and just use him as a little dangle. Yes, I am easily distracted by beads as well. <laughs> but it's a good distraction. And I'm always thinking of like ways to make earrings. Okay. So we've got that. Let's open that simple loop at the bottom of our first beaded link that we made and add that little dangle. Oh, that's really cute. I love it. All right, and now I need a jump ring to add that guy to my bottom of my Luna Moth. We'll just dump out all of these jump rings because I am sure we will use them. All right. I need another chainless player. Yeah, it is looking pretty cute. Thank you, Jen. These are such fun colors too, really sweet colors. Okay, so there's that dangle. That's super sweet, and you could totally turn this into an earring as well, but I think it's gonna make a really sweet uh, necklace focal. Really fun, I love this piece here. So let's start to work in those lemon beads. So I got a hole on each wing end. I'm thinking that that's maybe where I want to um, where I want to put my necklace strands. You could put your necklace strands up here as well, but I think um, putting them here on the wings 
will uh, kind of draw the eye nicer down to that dangle. Um, so I think I'll do that. So I'm just going to uh, attach my jewelry wire right now. Um, let's see, I need my cutters. So I'm just gonna cut some jewelry wire. That's probably enough for both ends. Oh yeah. So got some jewelry wire. I'll cut this in half. And then I'm gonna add some jump rings to my wings here for a little better movement. And then I will crimp to the jump rings. You guys have any weekend projects that you're going to be starting? Maybe working on something you've been working on? I need to get going. I've been, I was on a roll with these peyote stitch uh, portraits that I uh, was making of the six wives of King Henry VIII. Um, and I finished the third wife, I believe. Um, and now I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break from that before I move on to the next wife. Kind of in cross stitching. I, I'm part of some cross stitching stitch alongs and I got kind of behind on them. I have like way too many projects going on. So I got behind on my cross stitch stitch along. So now I'm like catching up on that. And then I think I will go back to my peyote stitch portraits. But there's always a project, right? Always a project. And if you need help uh, with techniques like opening and closing jump rings, making wrapped or simple loops, and um, crimping like what I'm about to do, we have really great videos and step-by-step -step tutorials for how to do all of those um, on our website, on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is really helpful, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I try and put out videos at least once a week over there so there's always something new uh, so make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel okay there's one side and then we'll do the other side and then we'll be ready to play and add more beads <laughs> just going to be working on orders this weekend oh cool yeah happy pride month beverly um super cool yeah i love seeing all the rainbow jewelry that's always fun And we have some good rainbow jewelry options in our design studio. All right, crimp this. I watched the um, the new Cruella movie this weekend, um, and it was really good. I actually liked it. It um, had really good um, fashion and really good uh, soundtrack, like all music from the 60s and 70s. So I really thought that was a fun movie. Okay, let's see, where should I start here? I think I'm gonna start with this color. Maybe do a little pink. And then one of these. Oh, yes, I love it. Maybe do pink again. Hmm. Oh, I haven't watched episode two of Loki yet. I'll probably watch that tonight. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying Loki. Well, at least the first episode. So I'm excited to see the second episode, see where it goes. Um, yeah, I'll have to watch that tonight. Oh, your birthday is this weekend. Happy birthday, Becky. Hoping I can get some Palmer clay so I can make pendants. Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, I'd love to see how that turns out. Hmm. I don't know if I want 
Oh, it's kind of fun. We'll go with it. <laughs> I'm just kind of playing around here seeing what seeing what works. Oh yeah, I can't wait to watch Loki. thinking I want more of these gemstone beads here so I'm gonna maybe add like a section of three of those oh I've got a great idea do like a big one yeah in between oh thank you Marcia I try to be creative <laughs> do another pink Oh, yeah, my dream is to create a piece to feature the Anna Bronze fossil shell blue color with something epic that does it justice. It's been on my desk. Those Anna Bronze pieces are so incredible. Uh, yeah, I, I often just set those pieces out and just dream of what I'm going to do with them because they are, they really are epic. That's fun. Maybe do another section of the gemstones. I want to kind of at least make a little bit of a clear space so I can see what's happening here. I'm liking these colors, that's for sure. So let's keep going with that. Oh, and you know what? I didn't pick out a clasp for this. I'll have to pick out a clasp later. But that's okay, because we want to make some earrings, too. <laughs> All right. That's fun. I like that. I really like these colors. It's just like fresh, modern summer to me. Yeah, that's pretty. And then let's, let's like reverse this pattern here and do Jonalyn, I've been researching my ancestry. I found out that my 13th great-grandmother was the sister of Queen Catherine Parr. Yes, one of Queen Henry VIII's wives. That's really cool, Jonalyn. My mom is really into doing um, ancestry for our family, and she's found some really cool stories. So she found one that speaks to my outlander side. Uh, she found like uh, we're related to like some Scottish lord and the castle that they had is still standing. It's really just like a kind of like a just a square fortress. But I really want to go to Scotland and go there and take a look at the castle because um, it's still standing and it's on some really beautiful grounds. So I think that'd be really cool to see. And of course, live out my outlander dreams. <laughs> I'm really liking this uh, pattern. That's really fun. Um, oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Super fun. Okay. And then maybe we do another pink. 
And then I'm thinking maybe at the end of the strand, I switch it up with these little banded ruby beads and kind of, kind of do something with those. Or is that too, I think that might be too dark. Or I do, <laughs> what should I do? Yeah, let's, um, that'll kind of like make it balanced. And then I want to switch up the sequence from there. Definitely go to Scotland. I went to Edinburgh in college on a marching band trip and loved it. Oh, I want to go so bad. And uh, Scotland is on my list, especially after watching, um, Men in Kilts on Stars with, with Jamie from Outlander and um, Dougal. <laughs> That's such a good show and they make Scotland look amazing. So I definitely want to go. Oh, cool. 11th grade grandparents came to America on the Mayflower and also had a baby while on the Mayflower. Can you imagine? That would be insane. Oh, maybe I should add these guys in like to the end of the necklace. Would that work? Nah. I was also toying with the idea of like adding these in. <laughs> That's kind of fun, but I don't know if it'll work. Um, those might work for our earrings though. Keep that in mind. Put that back on. Loving this. Okay, and then I think to finish, to finish this year, maybe we just do like all pink like I like the idea of just finishing this strand with smaller beads because it's going to be in the back and I I do like this pink color I think that's fun or we do like uh alternating three pinks and then the smaller lemon gemstone bead Oh, I also found out, I love the movie um, Practical Magic, and I did not know that that movie uh, was filmed in the state of Washington. It was filmed on Whidbey Island. So now I want to go there and like check out the Practical Magic filming location. I think that'd be fun. Mm, I think that's too much pink. Try the green flower. The green flower green flower where is a green flower do you mean the green bee that color does look nice in there but i don't really have the bee anywhere else you could also make this like a double strand necklace and have like some pretty ribbon to complement um, that would be kind of fun. Yes, the bee. Um, the bee would look good if I made that like the focal instead of the instead of the uh, lemon bean. But I think I'll keep what I've got. Ooh, maybe I do these guys. This is a nice kind of a more neutral color. Ooh, yeah, that might be the way to go. And do this. do this yeah yes I have seen once upon a time I have never finished that series I get to like season five or six and I'm like I can't do this anymore <laughs> I love it. I think the first few seasons are really strong. I just kind of lose it when they bring in like Anna and Elsa from Frozen. <laughs> it's just a little too much for me, but it is a very enjoyable show. I do like Once Upon a Time. And that, I believe, is filmed in, um, I think, Vancouver, Canada, which is not far from here either. I'm thinking that's the way to finish it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so I'll just have to do, I'm going to put a bead stopper on because I don't have a clasp. I'll have to choose a clasp later. And then we just have to repeat 
this side here. Do the pink. But I have watched uh, the Once Upon a Time series a couple times. It's good. If you like um, Once Upon a Time, there was this mini series from back in the day that is like the predecessor of Once Upon a Time. Uh, it's called The Tenth Kingdom, and it's probably one of my favorites. Um, not a lot of people have seen it. I always recommend it because I think it's fun. But if you like that, like, retold fairy tale concepts, you'll love it. Um, I think you can watch it. I just watched it on something. I own it on DVD, of course. <laughs> but I think you can watch it on um, Amazon Prime. Uh, and it does have commercials, but it's worth it. It's a really fun series. Let me know if you've seen that one because, yes, Lori, I was obsessed with The Tenth Kingdom when it was out. Yes, I'm so glad someone has seen it. Love that show. And, and like, they I left it open for a sequel, and they never made the sequel, and it breaks my heart because it was so good, and I needed to know what happened next. Um, apparently, like, they're still trying to make a sequel happen somehow, and that would be amazing if they did. Yes! I have the whole series and found out, oh, Once Upon a Time, and I found out I share a birthday with Robert Carlyle, a.k.a. Rumpelstiltskin. He's probably my favorite in that whole show. He's a really good actor because he does, like, he does Mr. Gold really well, and then when he's, like, Rumpelstiltskin, he's more, like, kooky crazy. I love him. He's probably my favorite on that show. Danielle, you know Tenth Kingdom, too? Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I love the colors in this necklace. This is really fun. Yeah, Tenth Kingdom is so cool. And it's got um, Kimberly Williams Paisley, uh, who I love. She's like the main character. You can see her a lot on um, the Hallmark Channel now. And she was on, she was on a, like a, um, a sitcom. I think it was Reba. Yes, that's what I do too. I watch shows and bead. Well, it's, it's like, I don't like just sitting down and watching TV and doing nothing. Like I like to keep occupied. So, um, that's when I like catch up on all my shows or like Reban shows that I love is when I'm crafting. Okay, this is looking fun. Oh, she was on According to Jim? Oh, okay. She's in a lot of things. She's in um, Father of the Bride as well. She's such a cutie. All right, that's looking good. So all I need to do is just finish this with a clasp. Um, really like how that turned out. That's gonna be a fun, fun necklace. Really like that. Um, loving the colors. I think the gemstone colors are really good. This is a really great fresh uh, spring summer look um, that's really gonna stand out. So um, hopefully that helps. This is kind of a unique gemstone color. Uh, but I think it's perfect for these kind of modern color trends that we're seeing these days. So love that. And then I wanted to make a quick pair of earrings because I'm always, I'm always making earrings. I gotta love it. Okay, so I want to do um, kind of match what I did for these earrings here because I love how that dangle turned out. Uh, so do some of that. Maybe I'll add in some of this as well. Oh, yes loving that okay that is right up my alley i might have a new favorite pair of earrings do i have gold eye pins that's the question i do but are they long enough Ooh, they might be a little short but that's okay we can use uh gold wire i've got plenty of art beads designer wire here 
Ooh, 18 gauge might be a little thick though. Yeah, that's a little thick. I know what I can do. Improvise. <laughs> this is what you do when you don't have a, you don't have the components um, that you want exactly. You improvise. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I need my pin for that. And then I'm going to do, yeah, that's fun. So do those on a couple different eye pins and then link them together. It's so fun. I love to watch anything Renaissance. Yes, I love a good period drama. It's always fun. I need to restart that because that is not going to secure correctly. I need like maybe I do another pink one. Yeah. There we go. That'll be better. Oh yes, um, Morgan, do you ever get inspiration for jewelry by what you see in movies, read in books, hear in music? Yes, so um, when Bridgerton came out, I really loved it. Loved all of the fashion, all of the jewelry was beautiful. And I did make a necklace and earring set inspired by uh, one of the pieces that I saw in Bridgerton and that is in our design studio. It's called The Duchess, uh, it's got free Free instructions and a supplies list. I'm not getting this. It's like the, um, it's like the, let's see here. Let me try again. It's like the wire's not long enough to make a nice wrapped loop. So I've got to like get it as close as I can. There we go. This will work nicely. I was bending it too far away from the bead, so I wasn't having, I wasn't getting enough wire to coil the, to coil for the wrap in my wrapped loop. Now I've got it. Learn from my mistakes so you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to waste your eye pins. There we go. Perfect. Okay, just how I want it. And then we'll do this one here, this one here. Oh yes, the jewelry in Downton Abbey. Yes, that is a that is a whole mood. And you know, I think I don't want that second. Yeah, I just want that. Or do I want it this way? I think that way breaks up the colors a little better. I love making jewelry too. So much fun. You can make whatever style you want. I've been reading like upcoming trends for jewelry and fashion and it sounds like we're heading into a phase where it's just like really expressing your individual style being as big and as loud as you want. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I'm excited to see like where jewelry goes with that trend on the rise. Yes, I love some Bridgerton themed jewelry. They have some really great pieces on that show. Okay, oh my gosh, that's fun. I need some ear wires. I think I have some here, maybe? Yes, I do. Fun. Okay, these are gonna be really cute little earrings. So we have got mm -mm -mm. I might need a jump ring for that. Now the question is, do I have gold jump rings? 
I might not have gold jump rings, but I do have uh, copper jump rings. Copper might be a fun little addition. Because these, these colors kind of lend themselves to copper as well. Let's just do copper, see what happens. <laughs> these fun textured oval jump rings. So that's definitely something to keep an eye out uh, when making jewelry. Will your pieces fit on the loops or jump rings that you're making? Oh, this guy's a little tricky. There we go. Will it hang right though? It's not liking this oval shape. Hmm. That might not work. Bomber. A little bit different but I can add do I want the pink down there yes I do let's see here oh are those jump rings thank you oh Jen to the rescue she got me some jump rings in the right color what a lifesaver didn't even have to get up woohoo okay let's see Sweet. Thank you, Jen. These are perfect. These will work. Oh, beautiful. I think if we had the right finding or the right dangles and whatnot, those copper jump rings would have been kind of a fun contrast, but the gold will be beautiful. These are so fun. I love the colors of these. All right, and then we just open our earwear there. And we've got a pair of beautiful earrings. Look at those. Aren't those fun? Oh my goodness. I love the colors of these. Really fun. They kind of match these too, so you could definitely wear these together. Super fun. Okay, we made some cute jewelry today. Uh, loving that, loving the colors. I just love these Australian Christopher Lemon Gemstones. 